In our greatest jokes ever, it was just a matter of time until little Johnny got his turn. Now, as far as the history of jokes go, we have a bit of a history lesson for you today. Many countries have generated through recent history a following of jokes or mimes about a naughty little boy. Naughty as hell, asking stupid questions, and many times just plainly being in the way. Now the best known globally of all these very naughty children characters, of which we make jokes, obviously, is Little Johnny. Today, we dive into Little Johnny's aquatic nightmares. See, back in the good old days, learning to swim wasn't exactly sunshine and pool noodles. No, it was more like sink, or sink fast. Our Little Johnny was born with only one leg and one arm. What he missed in body parts, though, were more than made up with, having a heart of a lion. Now, buckle up, because as we plunge into Little Johnny's aquatic adventures, be prepared for laughs, gasps, and a lot of gurgling. Dive in. It's going to be a wild ride. Little Johnny just started school and was enthusiastic about everything. He dreamed of slicing through the chlorinated waves like a dolphin in sequins, but life was like a stubborn pool filter, always spitting out obstacles. Born with only this one leg and one arm, he looked less of an Olympic hopeful. The bigwigs at the swimming gala weren't playing around the prospect of little Johnny joining any of the races. Spectator and cheerer, they decreed, their voices as dry as chlorine tablets. But remember, our little Johnny's had the heart of a lion and won't take no for an answer. One day, the legend of the swimming pool, Timmy Turner caught a case of the sniffles that made him sound like a foghorn, auditioning for a pirate musical. This was the day that destiny finally intervened for little Johnny. He will get his turn to race in the gala, sink or swim. Little Johnny, contorting himself like a human pretzel, paddling backwards with all the finesse of a toddler, trying to pet a giraffe. The other swimmers give him pitying glances until he somehow starts gaining ground. By the finish, little Johnny doing a victory backstroke dance, water spraying from his hair like a malfunctioning geyser. The crowd erupts, jaws hanging on the floor. With that, our little Johnny set new school records and won every event of the day. The teacher obviously wanted to know where he learned to swim that well. And little Johnny replied, one day his dad took him with the boat to the middle of the lake and threw him into the water and left. Little Johnny had to swim to the side of the lake. Oh, you poor thing. That is terrible. You could have drowned, said the teacher. No, not at all, Johnny replied. Swimming came easy for me. I swam like a fish in water, but the most difficult part of learning to swim that day was first. To get out of that bag my dad put me in when he threw me into the water. <laughs> if you like our jokes, please watch our next joke by clicking here.